Hi, this is another basics comfy video and uh, the subject is a bit boring but um, but quite important and that subject is masks. So rather than do a big explanation first we'll make a mask and see what it does. So most people first meet masks in mask editor when they want to change a girl's hair or um yeah hair is a <laughs> Most of, the, most of the movies on uh, videos on in painting, they always change the hair. I don't know quite why. I think, I think because it very rarely goes wrong, the hair. But anyone who does in painting soon discovers that unless you use an in painting model, it really does a lot of going wrong. <laughs> but anyway, so what we'll do, we'll make a mask, first of all. And instead of changing her hair, ha, we'll change her shirt. So you right click on the image and go down here you'll find open in mask editor. And there she is in mask editor. And you see you've got a brush and black and it goes thickness. That's the size of the brush. And if you draw with your left mouse button, it puts stuff in. And if you draw with your right mouse button, it takes stuff out. And uh, when they're doing in painting, they always do this thing where they just casually uh, whack out a big bit of um, the image and it puts it in perfectly well yeah that does happen sometimes but a lot of times it doesn't but we'll I uh, say we'll do in painting in a separate video so once you I've done her shirt I'll save to note and there it is so what we'll do is quickly have a look at what that mask looks like there it is there's a mask you see just the shirt and in Comfy, the bit that's going to be changed is white. Uh, if you want to change the rest of it, you can use an invert mask. We'll do that at some point. So we want to run our image into the source. So what we want to do is we want to put a bit of this nice material on her shirt. So we'll put the image on the source because we're going to take a bit of this we're going to cut a bit of this in, this out and we'll make her the destination we're going to set that to nothing you can move the uh, destination about but we're not going to get into that yet and our newly created mask goes into mask so we're all plumbed in and mask operations happen pretty much instantly and there you go a girl with a shirt now below here we have another occurrence you might encounter which is you have a png that has an alpha channel so it's a png find them on the web p it'll be a png and when you load it it'll look like this you see this there's there's the gray all over the background now that means it's already got a mask and here we are convert the mask that's the mask you see it's a very beautiful mask considerably better than my shirt mask <laughs> so we can use that and we'll use that to put a background behind her. So we take our mask and we put it into mask. The material is our destination. So we're going to put her on top. So you put her into source, hit prompt. Oh my God, it's all gone wrong. Look at that. So that's gone wrong because PNG masks are the other way around. So all is not lost. We need to turn the mask, make this white black and the black white. And you do that with this node and the invert mask node. I'll just move these ones out of the way. Down there a bit. I'll try and go through as many uh, useful nodes. A hundred or so um, mask nodes and uh, I've not used all of them by any means. So we've inverted the mask. Let's try again. There we are. There she is. You see how nicely she's cut out. So you might want to soften the mask. In which case you can use gas in mask blur. Which is set at a high level there. And you can see the mask is blurred. And when you go in here, you see that it's all been softened. Which is very useful. Now, if you haven't got a PNG, you don't have the patience to mask around her hair, then there are other methods. So we'll turn that one off. And come down here. So this is one of the remove backgrounds. So this is a remove background node. There are quite a few remove background nodes. I haven't tried them all. I I use this one. It has its own model. 
uh, it runs with your CPU and there's all sorts of models in here for detecting things. So one will do a face, that one's clothes and they've all been trained. But this is a general purpose one because I just want to cut her out. And they're they're very quick, and this is a very this is a very simple one. There are some very complicated ones. They're called segmenters, but this is a very basic one. I won't go through them all because there's quite a few of them. So what we'll do, we'll run that. And there it is. It's cut her out beautifully. Look at that. Uh, by default, it softens the mask somewhat. So what we'll do, we will put her in to there, and run that. And there we go. So it's all connected up. And it is very nicely put the background behind her. So next we'll do a slightly more complicated composite. So where you might want to put several things on top of each other. So here's a slightly more complicated chain of um, of mask nodes and associated nodes. Um, what's happening here is we are doing several composites with masks, all chained together. So we're not only putting her on the background, we're making a shadow for her as well. So we start at this side, it's the same as before. We made the mask with the background remover, which is here. So you can see, see the mask showing in that image. And then we convert the mask to an image, which is this image here. Then we make a, a black empty image here which is to supply the shadow colour. And we're blurring this mask here with a Gaussian blur. Then we're converting back to a mask. <laughs> and then we're compositing that image here. We're blending it over the background. So we're taking a bit of this black. This is a, a straight 1024 empty black. See, empty image, zero is black. We're taking a bit of the black image, cutting it out, and then blending it uh, with our wallpaper image, with our material image. And the blend is half, so you see it, it puts a nice soft shadow on. And we can move that around with the composite. So if I uh, move the X, you'll see she moves. So we can position the shadow. And then I use this image here as my destination to put her on top of the whole lot. And there she is. So you see, masks are really quite a, a powerful tool. I'll go through a couple of um, areas you might use them next, but that pretty much covers masks. There are a lot of mask nodes. You can add the mo masks together. You can you can do all sorts of things, and uh, but they're all the all the nodes work in more or less the same way. And because you can uh, convert the mask to an image you can use any of the uh, image processing nodes, such as Image Blend here, and the Image con Gaussian Blur, uh, to uh, adjust your uh, mask, uh, and then you can turn it back into a mask again, which is very useful. Okay, so we'll do a, a, just a couple of um, uh, actual usage examples. Right, so here we are. Just, uh, Time to put our new uh, masking skills into uh, action. So what we have, we have uh, an empty road and we need a car on it. So here's our road and we've, we've resized our image because um, I wanted it to process quite quickly. So. And then here's the car. We don't want to necessarily put this car on it, but we want a car. So we can use our nifty remove background here. And remove background will always pretty much work when you've got a nice clean subject. Uh, if it's an amorphous subject, like a say a castle and there's trees and it merges with the landscape a bit, then it, it will have trouble. But for, uh, and you can use a, a different segmenter if you want. There's a SAM detector. If you get into segmenters, you'll find, uh, I might do a video on segmenters. This uh, series gets ever longer because uh, Comfy is really quite involved programming. Really. So anyway, so uh, our, uh, you can see here it's uh, clipped our car neatly out and the uh, nice way of doing it with the removed background is of course you can scale your car. So you, it's scaling a PNG with a mask is 
a bit tricky because you have to scale the mask and the pn and the image separately which is a bit of a pain in the backside so the i find the uh, removed background is jolly handy uh, especially you know for pulling uh, a, fi a well-defined figure out that you want to place in a scene and you can scale scale it up before it goes into the uh, segment uh, into the remove then i'm color correcting it just to cool it down for our our chilly landscape and here you see it placed into the landscape clipped out and dropped in and here's the mask doing the heavy work so we've made the mask the removed background has made the mask that's made an image and a mask and then the image has gone into the color correct and then into the composite mask and if you see these x and the y's uh, when the image comes in it is top left always top left so I've moved it across and down until it sits on the road and there we go so that with a prompt and I've turned into a Ferrari which it probably made red of course and here's the image I also uh, I refined it on a previous run through so I did get a grey one I wanted a grey one really so here was the result with the grey one, which um, is pretty good. Googly number plate. But other than that, we've got a very nice, consistent image. And I think that's it for masking. And that gives you, it's, it's an introduction to masking. Uh, as I say, there are many masking nodes. There are, if we go down here, utilities that use a mask. This is a remove object. And you see here, I've I've removed uh, uh, an, another car in the background so there was a car there and uh, uh, I masked it and it removes it it removes it quite well not perfectly but pretty well okay so I hope that was uh, not too boring it's not a it's not a uh, it's not a headline subject which maybe is why it uh, never gets properly covered uh, in uh, in uh, YouTube videos, really, it's, uh, it gets covered in an incidental way, but never, never, um, never in, in great detail. But there's plenty more about masking, and most of the nodes you can test out. You don't need to be running the sampler, you can just test them out separately and see what they do. Okay, thank you. I hope you enjoyed that.